Your heart rate and breathing quicken. Your skin feels hot, and all you can do is see red. We've all felt that seething anger bubble up inside us when we think about someone who has wronged us. Maybe it's a friend who betrayed your trust, a colleague who undermined or humiliated you at work, or a family member who hurt you deeply. Hatred is a powerful emotion, but what does it really do to us? Let's take a moment to explore the psychology behind hatred and how it affects us on a deeper level. The poison of resentment. When you hate someone, how often do you find yourself ruminating on what they did to you? How much mental and emotional energy do you spend reliving the pain and anger? It might feel satisfying at first, validating even, but over time, ruminating on your hatred can be corrosive to your mental health. Your brain becomes fixated on the negative experience, unable to let it go. Instead of bringing you closure, it only serves to intensify your negative emotions and your perspective may become more distorted. You might find it difficult to express joy or find peace as your mind is consumed with thoughts of revenge or retribution. Studies have also shown that prolonged anger and resentment can lead to increased stress levels, elevated blood pressure, and weakened immune function. The prison of the past. Hate often stems from unresolved hurt. And when we cling to resentments, we trap ourselves in a cycle of negativity, a prison of our own past. Suddenly anything and everything that has to do with this person you hate becomes tinted by this bitterness. But here's the truth. You may not have created this prison, but you have the power to set yourself free. Practice forgiveness and acceptance, not for their sake, but for your own peace of mind. Engage in self-care activities that nourish your soul and bring you joy. And don't hesitate to seek support from trusted friends, family, or a therapist. The burden of holding on. If you've ever held a grudge against someone, then you know how heavy hate can be. And the longer we hold on to it, the heavier the burden becomes. It clouds our judgment, colors our interactions with others, and robs us of the joy and freedom we deserve. The loss of empathy. When you hate, it can make you feel angry, rude, envious, prideful, and selfish. These emotions can make it harder for you to feel more empathy, not just for the person who wronged you, but for others too. Your capacity for understanding and compassion shrinks as your resentment grows. You might find it difficult to relate to the struggles of friends or family members because your own grievances loom so large in your mind. Now, understanding why someone hurt you doesn't justify their actions, but it might bring you some peace, closure, and clarity. Hurt people hurt people, after all. And when we hate, that bitterness stops being about what someone did to us and more about what we're doing to ourselves. The power of forgiveness. Now, we're not saying that forgiveness is easy. In fact, it's one of the hardest things we can do, especially when we've been deeply wounded. But forgiveness isn't about excusing the other person's actions or pretending like nothing happened. It's about freeing yourself from the chains of hatred and reclaiming your own power. Forgiveness is often touted as the antidote to hate, and for good reason. When we forgive, we release ourselves from the grip of negative emotions that can otherwise consume us. Psychologists like Jeremy Sutton and Lauren Toussaint have found that it reduces stress, anxiety, and depression, as well as improves relationships and overall well being. By choosing forgiveness, we pave the way for healing, growth, and freedom the path to empowerment. So, what can you do if you're struggling with hatred and resentment? Ultimately, the journey from hate to love is a personal one that requires you to look inside yourself, open your mind, and let go of your ego. It's not always easy, and it certainly isn't quick, but it's worth every step of the way. In the words of Haruki Murakami, pain is inevitable, but suffering is optional. So take a moment to reflect. What kind of life do you want to lead? One filled with bitterness and resentment or one filled with love and resilience? Your journey toward healing begins with a single step, a choice to let go of the hatred that binds you 
and embrace the freedom that forgiveness brings. If you found this video valuable, we invite you to like, share, and subscribe to our community for more insightful content, like nine uncomfortable signs you're healing emotionally. And do you have an emotional wound? Here are seven signs. Don't forget to share your insights in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.